Welcome back, guys, to The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom, where last episode, after a desert race to obtain the Gerudo fabric and finding the Gerudo Great Skeleton, we blasted skyward in the Gerudo Highlands to visit Mayamat Shrine and find a route for a ball. We then headed to the Yiga HQ entrance and were denied entry, having to wear the Yiga outfit to head inside, so we dropped down to the Kudanissa Shrine and completed its Bridging the Sands trial as our exploration now continues. No, Korok in peril. Well, I guess we've got to save it. We've already dealt with you, I'm pretty sure. Uh, there's some high-level guys down here, look. Help, I don't have a device to save this Korok in peril, though. There's no junk here I can use. There's a treasure chest randomly over there. Well, first of all, I need to just get to land. I think that's always the best first step. From there, we can get to Korok, buddy. And I feel like the only option we're going to have is an auto build. Because I'm pretty sure Koroks most likely sink. Oh, my friend and I got separated. <laughs> Wait, what? All the way back up there? Hmm. Well, that's kind of a... Uh. Never mind, Quark. I'll be right back. <laughs> I'd be fine, honest. Okay. Wait, is this not got a steering wheel on that one? Well, I kind of wanted it further forward, but you know why, actually? I'll just add another fan. <laughs> the backwards fan, patented by Olesandri. Wait, it's not even connected? It didn't actually fully build. <laughs> I guess that's fine. I'll just, uh... I'll now put it like that. I guess now I've got to disconnect that. To connect it to there. We've got double fan power. Okay, yeah, we have a small problem in the fact that we need to grab that fairly fast. So then Korok add. And we're off. Brum, with two fans this way. Better on this sandy bit. You can't see me. You can't even shoot me. You wouldn't be able to hit me. Okay, I'm going to try to pilot just between there. Yeah, there, that was a nice... That was nice. A good fit. I have brought your friend. Give me some more seeds. But when we never see Hestu again. Okay, well, my device is running away. Did I say you could leave? What's further in over here? Wouldn't surprise me if there was a cave complex or something. 
Oh, so it's just the normal way up to the... Oh, yeah, this is the normal way up to the Yuga Clan base. Right, so we have now got quite a few shrines in the area and a fair few caves to go with it, including this big jumble of crap. Um, I'm wondering if there's anything to see kind of like this away then from this point onwards. Uh, is there any quests we're cu currently got going <laughs> in that area? I mean, we could go to Five Flow Runes as well and deliver the monstrous collection next one. I don't know if there's any side quests we're actually actively doing in the area anymore. No, we're, we're actually done the ones in there that we saw so far. There probably is more. Let's go to there and uh, teleport. Bounce our way forward. Because to be honest, we can check some shrines from the sky on the exiting area. And on top of that, we might be able to see... Maybe, if we're lucky, more than one shrine while going to the labyrinth. That's another section we've got to do over here, right? There's a labyrinth. There's sky stuff. Sky stuff all the way over there as well. Uh, okay. Look, 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 look. I mean, it's better if I just land over here, right? Okay, there's a bonfire. Two of them. Shrines from the sky isn't picking up much, to be honest, in terms of visuals. Disappointing. Obviously, we know there's a shrine in the labyrinth, so that's just a, a free gimme. And is that how I'm supposed to reach over there, is it? I'd have to assume yes. about the steering wheel I am lacking a a bit of impetus but if I could get the high point first that would be kind of nice wouldn't it just depends how long the wing lasts for but it looks well balanced at the moment I've got the height uh, I've got a certain amount of battery there's a shrine there's a shrine there's a shrine there's a shrine uh I don't dare take pictures of them, though. Let's just make sure I get the distance there or thereabouts, you know? I think, to be honest, I can just jump off with Tulin at this point. That well, was really easy to reach with that. Help, he's stacking me! Tulin, get me out of there! I'm worried it might come for revenge. <laughs> oh, yeah, my gravity. Oh, one of the fans made it too. The Sia Motsu Shrine. Oh, I can do the shrine, can't I? There's a distraction, there's a distraction, and there's a... No, these were the actual targets. No distractions here. I don't know how well we're doing for Desert Shrines, but... Let's come to over here. It's Labyrinth time, eh? Oh, <laughs> yeah. Just give me a... Uh... <laughs> Honestly, I, I don't think you understand what a troll is. Huh? Something's not quite right here, buddies. This isn't Araru's gift. It said unlit blessing. Does it want me to put out all the lights? Oh! 
Okay. Probably just wants me to light some more stuff up. That's tricky. How dare you say, like, this is a... Raru's blessing place. And then... Go over there. Okay. What the? What's up there? I'm confused. Why do you want me to go up here? Do the stairs collapse? Do the stairs collapse? What is real and what is... Uh. Okay. I've just kind of been sent into the afterlife. <laughs> what just happened? <laughs> While I'm here. <laughs> it's fine. I have, uh, I, I, I could totally make it out of here. <laughs> Apart from the fact I have no rocket shields and I can't put rockets on shields. <laughs> That's a problem. <laughs> what have I done to this place? Okay. <laughs> now I'm back over there again? Okay. Oh, it gave me some extra arrows. Oh, I want those extra I want those arrows. I mean, it still kind of got me. <laughs> I didn't think it would move that kind of distance. <laughs> Okay, uh, it's a tricksy little shrine. It did get me, but it didn't get me in a jump scarish fashion. <laughs> like, if it wanted to get me, it should have been called Rauru's Blessing. But maybe it could have removed, like, the, the, the uh, punctuation. <laughs> I don't know, to be different. I don't know. But when it said unlit blessing all of a sudden, I was just like, oh. <laughs> so there I was punished by actually noticing stuff that time by the looks of things. May the light of blessing grant you the strength you seek. You can literally just jump down on another shrine. And then there's the labyrinth itself. We're going to complete an armor set most likely in the, uh, the coming episodes. Because we can't go in there, can we? We've got to do more. <laughs> Okay, so, jumping down to... I mean, I'm almost tempted to just jump down on top of the shrine. Looks like this is the only one in the area. Oh, light nearby. Well, you can still jump down on top of the shrine when you think about it. Nothing's stopping you. This is just the shrine that's easiest to get into in Breath of the Wild, right? 
You just basically fly onto the top and you walk to the end. Get the wax shrine. I'm not saying you can't get around various other labyrinths like that, I guess, because they were all on the ground, but... Just a Gleok chilling. Or flaming, I guess. What is our next challenge? It's another actual trial. Nice. Upward and forward. So I take it you just want me to put this on the very tip of this. I don't know, actually. Now I look at it. Just to there. Just to make the weight go down. Oh, you actually ping yourself back up, do you? Come back! Oh, better not hit the thing. Okay, good. I just need to time my jump. Whoa. <laughs> First fail hop. I don't know what that was about. See, now I'm getting the good rewards. Ten arrows is great. And that's all the treasure chests, too. So for this one, I'm weighing it down on this side. And then I take it, I'm just kind of either removing the weight or angling it now downwards so that it swings past the point. No? Wondering if I could have got some launch from that. Not from that positioning, I can't. Well, I destroyed the platform. Maybe I should have just took the other platform. That would have probably sorted me out. <laughs> you saw what I was trying for there. It didn't quite work. The slingshot method was not my jam. That makes it a lot easier, though. <laughs> Alright, so this... pings. I almost feel like we want it to be shorter. know if that will actually knock me far enough. Yeah. So I need to add more, like, length to it so that the longer side of it will work. I guess what will happen is this doesn't get weighed down. Oh, no. The platform's still up, isn't it? And yeah, now it gets weighed down all the way. Oops. <laughs> I got blasted away. Is that not the solution? There we go. We just need to be a bit further in. Shrines. Oh my goodness. We're getting close to 120. 
I like to point out that the Breath of the Wild playthrough, in terms of episode number, was already completed by now, plus DLC. <laughs> Showing you that Tears of the Kingdom has way more content in it, with its one reused map. Now it's got three maps. So much more to get through. Like, so much more that I'm not even thinking is ending. To be fair, I also didn't livestream the bulk about Breath of the Wild, uh, yes. And I probably did edit out some of the re-going over things, to be perfectly fair. I probably, hopefully, have edited out some of the, uh, sorting out the stilly crits, the steels, stells. <laughs> I'll have to look that up afterwards, but it's not helpful for me now, do you know what I mean? When I'm having issue with pronouncing a word for uh, YouTube intros, etc., or I will look it up, or if it's an important name that reoccurs, I will look it up and uh, figure it out and practice it and make sure I don't get it wrong. But it's very much harder when you're on the go. Right then. Our next destination. I almost can't believe this is our maximum stamina, by the way. Kinda want more now. It's a weird scenario where the more you get, the more you want. What that? Hit a Korok. It's just a bit of wobbly heat around it. Some rocks falling down somewhere. Don't know where it went in the end. That's the rock I threw off. I'm always considering entering this from the door because of course they've got like logs and stuff at the front. Maybe they put a roof on this one or something. I don't know. Well, there's definitely some gloom at the entrance. I can tell you that. Suspicion of gloom hands. Something also tells me I might need a cork front guster in here. It's a sneaking suspicion. I don't know why. Research log day one. According to Thoro, the characters carved into the stone slab read as follows. The dragon ring slumbers in the labyrinth's depths. Wake it and you shall receive due compensation. Due compensation? Now that Thoro has gone off to examine the other ruins, I have no choice but to tough out the rest of this research alone. I'll leave a trail of acorns and nuts behind me so I don't get lost. Due recompense. Hello, evil hands, where are you? I know you're in here somewhere. Well, something's trying to kill me. I think it's a wolf. <laughs> Why are you desperate to kill me? I have done you no harm. <laughs> Why are you coming at me? I feel like making a vehicle would be the best way to get around this place. I mean, I should have exactly enough stamina to uh, clear the gloom. Research log day two. I've searched these passages one by one and haven't found anything, but I've got a good feeling about this last one. The only thing keeping me from exploring it now is the late hour. I'll try to contain my excitement and get some sleep. <laughs> Don't tell me this one just goes straight to goal. Huh. 
<laughs> the gloom hands were under here all along. There was nothing there. But my curiosity and idiocy. <laughs> Okay. Ah! Totally made it. I take it you took a right. And I'd assume you went up the stairs. Can I just ascend to the top? <laughs> Finally a reward. A mighty Zonite sword. It's a standard sword, isn't it? And I carry around my Topaz sword just to irritate people. <laughs> Not really. I will attach something to that in the future. It's the nuts, so we know it's this direction. Are we in the center of everything? We are. It looks, to be honest, like we're crossing into another part of the territory. I really hope I don't encounter another load of gloom hands in a place like this. So you went this way and then you took a left. Or did you? Yes, <laughs> yes, 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 you did. Research log day three. No matter how far I go or which way I turn, everything looks the same. It's all covered in energy sapping gloom. I've somehow managed to swallow my overwhelming desire to run home and will attempt to spend the night here. I just hope I have enough acorns to mark my way to the end. So he's basically saying he ran out, right? <laughs> What's an interesting area now? I assume you didn't... <laughs> Never mind! <laughs> My assumption was terribly wrong. Uh, how's my heat? Heat's fine. Climbing gear time. Climbing gear and Kulaba, yeah, yeah. I was say, how deep is this gloom to get through? I think I should be able to fly over now. Uh, it's straight onwards. You put a camp down here. Is he dead this time? I'm starting to worry that our intrepid explorer didn't quite make it out of here this, this time round. It's definitely underneath from here. I think that is the approved route. Research log day four. I can't believe I'm writing this, but I'm standing in front of ancient Zonai ruins. What a tremendous discovery. This makes the terror and uncertainty of getting it completely worth it. It's just a shame for me that I have no idea what these ruins are, but I'll head back and report to people who might. I'll take that as having reached goal. Apples, meat there. He brought some good supplies. Good. 
Motsusi Shrine. That should be a Raru's gift, right? It's weird how things speed up so much once we get past the side quest bit of it. That said, I might be tempted to go to Akala again in a second and check out, uh... It's a blessing. I guess there's specific music for a blessing place as well now. That I've probably never noticed before. I might be tempted to find out where the uh, Eagle Clan bases are and go after them, maybe. Seems like a good idea. <laughs> all that effort to avoid even a single point of gloom damage while I just run through it all the time. Yeah, to be honest with you. <laughs> running through it would make more sense, right? Because you're outdoors, so you automatically regain your HP anyway. So you're only really losing like one, two or three hearts <laughs> of my 23 if I did that. So you're just down to 20 and you're constantly regenning and it, then it will go through the lost hearts, relocking them. I can't help it. I'm, I'm, I'm adverse to taking damage. Averse, even. May the light of blessing grant you the strength you seek. Oh yeah, that memory! <laughs> I totally forgot! <laughs> Sorry, I suddenly got onto uh, shrine, shrine, shrines, you know what I mean? <laughs> 